there's a lot of, of uh, I almost call it anger, anyway, very strong irritation among the non-nuclear weapons powers yeah. about the failure of the weapons powers to disarm. The non-nuclear weapons powers, countries like Australia, Japan, New Zealand, and so on, feel that they have obeyed the terms of the Nuclear Proliferation Treaty, mm -hmm. which calls upon them not to proliferate. They haven't proliferated in some, I mean, obviously Iran, and well, not, we don't know about Iran, but certainly North Korea has, but they're relatively small exceptions to the rule. Whereas the absolute responsibility of the nuclear weapons powers, which was parallel, for them to disarm, that was the price of non-proliferation. Mm. They didn't pay that price. Britain has actually enough gone further than anywhere else in among the nuclear powers by reducing its deterrent to the almost the bare minimum, not quite, but nearly. The prime, my prime minister, who I advise, has taken, has suggested he taking one submarine out of the uh, submarine delivery system, which would bring us back to reduction of 25 percent. And we'd only have we'd have three submarines, and he's prepared to talk about them too. If we can get a further down the track to disarmament, we're doing a huge amount of work on verification, and we've reduced since the Cold War ended by about 50% uh, the nuclear presence of the UK. All right, we have to go further, but we've gone further than anybody else. Now, the issue, therefore, is how we can get the nuclear powers, the big nuclear powers, to move. And Obama understood this issue and put your late co your recent colleague, Gary Seymour, and other people into a position to bring it about. What's so encouraging is that the not on the American side, but on the Russian side, the proposal originally came forward for replacing the START one treaty, which was uh, negotiated between George Bush, the older, George Herbert Walker Bush, mm. and uh, at that time it would have been uh, not even President Putin, I guess, President Yeltsin, Yeltsin. Mm. for a major reduction, which happened, of strategic weapons. Then after the change of government, nothing more happened. Mm. Ten years of wasted time. The Russians themselves proposed that we should go back to seeing if we could find a successor to start one, and they're now busily negotiating on that right now. I think my guess would be that the cuts they will suggest are more modest than most of us would like to see. Most scientists and experts believe that 500 nuclear weapons on each side would be more than enough. Mm. We probably won't get there, but we might get to uh, 1,500, maximum mm. 2,000. But given that, we've, that the Russians have got something of the order of 13,000 nuclear weapons, and we've got something like 9,000, mm. a reduction even to 2,000 mm. would be a big, big reduction. Mm.